Hello again, Flame Nation, and welcome to the Lee Weekly Spotlight presented by Landmark Insurance Group. I'm Kensington Wheeland. And I'm Carmen Lestoria. Today we'll recap the basketball games from last week, get you set for an exciting week to come, highlight the beginning of the indoor track season, and introduce you to the newest member of the Lee coaching family. We'll begin with women's basketball. The Lady Flames fell to North Alabama on Thursday evening, 74 to 69, despite a late fourth quarter rally that saw them outscore the Lions 24 to 9 in the final period. On Saturday, Lee bounced back and charged past Alabama Huntsville 72 to 56. The Lady Flames had four players score in double figures, with Carrie Cheeks leading the way with 15 points and seven rebounds. The Lady Flames are now 12 and five overall and tied for third in the GSC at seven and four. The men's basketball team lost to North Alabama 83 to 66 on Thursday in Florence. On Saturday, Lee went toe to toe with number 25 Alabama Huntsville before suffering a 101 to 94 defeat. Senior Keevan Tyus continues to lead the way for the Flames, scoring 22 points in Thursday's game before posting a double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds on Saturday. The Flames are now 9-8 overall and are 5-6 in the GSC. Caleb Morgan and his indoor track teams opened the 2017 season on Sunday as they ran at the Birmingham Crossplex. The men placed third and the women placed sixth. Both squads finished second among non-D1 schools. Justin and Josiah Brooks combined for three NCAA Division II provisional qualifying marks as Justin won the 400 meter dash with a time of 47.86 seconds, while Josiah was third at 48.47 seconds. Justin's time is the fifth fastest in Division II so far this season, and Josiah's is currently 16th. Christian Noble and Audrey Smith picked up Lee's other two event victories with strong performances in the 5,000 meter run. Derek Pottinger, a two-time All-American at Penn State University and former assistant at the United States Naval Academy, was officially introduced as the new men's soccer coach for Lee University at a press conference on Monday. Pottinger, who played professionally in the USL for several years, served as head coach at NCAA Division III Gordon College for the past four years, where his teams posted an impressive 61-18-3 record. Fans can expect an up-tempo, energetic, and exciting brand of so soccer under Pottinger this fall. Coming up this week, the basketball teams will host Union on Thursday at 6 and 8. The games will be broadcast on ESPN3, and the first 1,000 fans will receive t-shirts and rally towels as we white out Walker Arena. On Saturday, the Flames and Lady Flames will host Christian Brothers at 2 and 4. It's Mayfield Dairy Farms Day, so come ready to enjoy some delicious ice cream as you cheer on the teams. For all the latest information on Lee Athletics, visit us at GoLeeFlames.com and make sure to follow us on social media at Lee U Flames. This has been your Lee Weekly Spotlight. Until next time, for Carmen Lestoria, I'm Kensington Wheeland. Have a great week and go Flames!